Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. I'm Tatu Zakia Tunufus and I'm from Fakultas Ilmu Pendidikan Universitas Muhammadiyah Jakarta. And today I'd like to present my study. It's about the implementation of pedagogical strategy of English for specific purposes in pandemic era in the case of challenge and strategy. This study is proposed in uh, ECOTELS, yeah, the conference that held by University of Bengkulu. Well, so uh, what is the background of this study? Yeah, uh, let's check the background. The background of my study here, English is an international language which is, so, which is spoken by all of the people around the world. Therefore, learning English is the obligation for all people who are from English for foreign languages, or we can say it as EFL. These days, English has been taught in every single grade of school, starting from junior high school until university level for English for specific purposes. And in teaching and learning process, we know about ESP. And ESP is a short term of English for specific purpose, which is used to determine students' need according to English learning. ESP is usually used in the vocational school or university where have different needs. And then ESP has difference comparing to teaching activity in general way. So therefore it has specific purpose and way to be taught by the teachers. Well, uh, ESP is a new approach in the teaching and use of English for specific fields and studies that are appropriate to the needs of the fields of science and provisions of English users. The fields of science and professions such as English for law, medicine, mechanical, engineering, economics, or maritime, and so on. So this is why I took this research. It's based on the background of this uh, words. And the next is about literature review. It's focused to ESP that refers to the teaching and learning of a foreign language for clearly utilitarian purposes of which there is no doubt. And ESP has an approach and assumption that are different from general English, or we say SGA. ESP is generally used in teaching foreign languages for certain use in certain fields of science and professions. And this goal is generally understood as a benefit in the role of English as a communication tool, both in oral and written. Therefore, ESP should be seen as an approach, concept, and method that is indeed different from general English. ESP is an English teaching approach that has a different approach and it has a different perception, design, material, evaluation, and purpose. And ESP material refers to the needs of students and users of the graduate themselves. So uh, the characteristic of the ESP, here is the characteristic of the ESP. ESP has its own characteristic, and they are ESP is goal-oriented learning, and in this context, learners learn ESP because they have specific goals in academic and professional fields with one another. And the second one, the substance of ESP is designed and developed based on the concept of need analysis, and which is aimed to specialize and link and bring closer what is needed by students, both in academic and professional fields. And the last characteristic of ESP, it is aimed more at adult learners than children or adolescents because ESP is generally taught at secondary and high academic level and professional or workplaces. So how to get the data from these cases? And this is the methodology that I took. The research use qualitative approach which focus on the implementations of ESP in pandemic era. The research was a case study at al Mansuria Vocational School. And to get the data, the researchers asked two English teachers and 20 learners school in Tangerang. The English teachers were graduate from Satawan of English department, and they have ability in conveying material. So in this study, the researchers observed that the teachers and the learners during teaching and learning process in the classroom, and did interview about pedagogical strategy and the challenge that they found in the online classroom. So how about the uh, technique? Yeah, The technique in getting data, actually the researcher used the observations and the interview. And the, the interview here have been done in semi-structures. And this interview as about teacher's pedagogical strategy in teaching ESP tour challenge and the strategy that used in pandemic era. 
how is the research question yeah to get the data it's based on the research question the first one is how is teachers pedagogical strategy in sp classroom in pandemic era and the second one is how to deal with the challenge of teaching sp at school in pandemic era well so here is the finding and discussion after i get the data and then i found the uh, similar yeah similar words yeah, similar finding the first one is the teacher use digital media to propose and encourage students creativity in sp classes such as podcast youtube channel zoom google meet etc and in the second point in the classroom activity the teacher use trans languaging method that defined as the strategy to utilize learners in understanding the classroom and this strategy enable teacher to use it in a communicative way in a structural point the teacher still use general way in teaching english such as grammar translation method which focus to students encouragement in structures and vocabulary and the last in addition the teacher also make a project based learning which focus to students understanding of english concept such as how the transaction in a bank how to interact with other people and how to reserve in such a restaurant uh, which is such as in hotel and etc that relate to lesson plan and syllabus that are already prepared by the school or the teachers so here the discussions Based on the finding above, the English for specific purposes considered as an approach to teach English based on students' need. And in this case, the researchers saw that the implementation of ESP in Alman Surya is already done in some situation which relate to the target or learning objective that the school applied. And the teacher's preparation of ESP is already done due to the teaching media and interesting method that the teachers have. In this case, the researcher found that there are many challenges that the teachers have to implement the ESP class in pandemic era. And what are the challenges that the teachers have here? Yeah, the first challenge is the instructors. ESP instructors in higher education generally have several characteristics, namely the young or the new lecturers and lacks of experience. And this is based on al Wasila quote. New teachers face many challenges such as adaptations of teaching in territory institution, adaptations of ESP teaching that must be different from EGP and the burden of teaching assignment in vocational school. New teachers naturally have difficulty in teaching because teaching in vocational school may be new for them. Pedagogy, emotional maturity, the length of time that need to prepare teaching in a course that is different from their science requires preparation that is not trivial. In addition, most young teachers also do not yet know the how is the character of ESP subject that are actually different from EGP. And this influence the material, learning objective and method start, which is turned with result in learning that ESP is not on the target. Okay, so the second challenge is the student's lack of interest in learning. And it's because of inadequate facilities such as a language lab that can be used for teaching and learning. And the last challenge is about material. The fact is that some of the commercial textbook available on the market do not suit to the needs of the different students in each college. Each school year and each class, in addition, the existence of matter is also not balanced. For some major study programs, commercial textbooks are very easy to find because of a large target market. Example are majors in economic, law, agriculture, medicines, and others. But there are also major or study programs that have difficulty finding textbook on the market, such as the history book, Indonesian literature, study program, and etc. So here is the strategy. The strategy of ESP and teachings. Okay, there are five strategies here. The first one, the teacher must prepare interesting methods that enable students to acquire language joyfully. The strategy used must deal with the student's need and it will make them eager to learn and practice the language in the classroom. Using technology, it can be a strategy that must be adapted and we can use appropriate technology 
such as YouTube channel, podcast, Zoom, Google Form, Digital Doc, etc. Class management will interest students to learn effectively, and the teachers must pay attention to what the students progress and what they need as their objective of learning. And the last strategy in SP teaching make an appropriate project that enables students to think critically and the project well to encourage their talent and facilitate them doing their learning. So here are the strategy of ESP in teachings. Well, so the last one is about the conclusion. The researchers, yeah, I am here conclude that vocational school will see or where I took a sample of research have done in list class based on ESP focus. It can be seen from the strategy and media that the teacher has in teaching English. The researcher found out that the teacher also used common technique and does attempt to find other methods out to be implemented in class. The learning process of English for specific purposes has described the substance and content of ESP learning associated with the themes and topic of certain scientific fields of specific activities. And it has been centered on the forms of language that is accordance with the activity or work itself. Okay, so here are the references. Yeah, here are some references that I use to make and um, to support my argument in this study. Okay, thank you guys for watching and thank you for attention and see you in another occasion. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Oke. Okay.